It's your voice, your vote. Two candidates in Mississippi's first congressional district are on the attack tonight. Democrat Travis Childers and Republican Greg Davis face off at the polls tomorrow. But if you've seen all the commercials leading up to the election, you know how ugly this campaign has been. News Channel 3's Dennis Turner looked into who all is responsible for the mudslinging in this race. He's live in our DeSoto County newsroom. Dennis? Good evening. This will be the first of two contests for South Haven Mayor Greg Davis and Prentice County Circuit Clerk Travis Childers. Tomorrow's election will decide who serves in Congress just until the end of the year. These two will then face off for the permanent job again in November. And if this race indication it's going to be a tough talking campaign season. Two strong candidates want your vote in the 24 county first congressional district in Mississippi. So we've run a positive campaign. Oh yeah? Campaign. So where did this come from? This constituents get higher utility rates, higher property taxes. Or this. He doesn't care for seniors. He profits from them. These so-called attack ads are burning up the airwaves and leaving candidates fuming. You get the blame, I guess, but we're not running them. You know, we're running on the issues, we're running what we've done and what we can do for the whole district. And he's right. Take a close look at the produced and paid for by the Democratic and Republican campaign committees. It keeps the dirt airborne. There's been plenty of mud flying. While the candidates keep their hands clean. So they're telling the truth when they say they're running an honest, old-fashioned, issues-oriented campaign. Both candidates know voters don't like negative attack ads. They're interested in things that will help working families in North Mississippi. They're not interested in uh, browbeating other people. And the candidates say they're as shocked as anybody of the flying mud. And unfortunately, the way the rules are set up, we don't get to see the ads until everyone else does them. As a matter of fact, I've quit watching the TV so that my girls don't have to see those type of ads. And I misspoke a few minutes ago when I uh, identified Travis Childers as the circuit clerk of Prentice County. He's actually the chancery clerk there. So where does the information come from in all these ads? Well, political insiders tell me that sometimes it comes from the campaigns themselves, even though they might, know that, might, might not know the exact content of the ads, as Mr. Davis said a minute ago. Uh, polls open tomorrow at 7 o'clock, and we will have coverage all day here on News Channel 3. And I'll have a wrap-up coming up tomorrow night on News Channel 3 at 10. For now, we are live in the DeSoto County Newsroom. Dennis Turner, News Channel 3. On your side.